All right guys, today we're gonna to go over a new product. This is the long-awaited Axiom 18 liter. Uh, for all intents and purposes, it's the baby brother to the Axiom X25. Uh, as you may know, the X in the X25 means it is, it is expandable. This one does not have the X, meaning it is not expandable. So it's just an 18 liter pack. It's great for uh, urban movement, um, office use, uh, travel, if you, if you do a lot of business travel, and just general everyday everyday carry. It's, it's the same VX21 ripstop shell that's in our, our Meridian. Um, so it's highly water resistant, highly abrasion resistant. It's gonna handle pretty much uh, any normal city weather that, that, that you can throw at it. It's got YKK number five Eurotech. Uh, reverse coil zippers it's a mouthful uh, but the the zippers are water resistant as well they have that hypalon covering over them um, so it, it, it's a lot like the axiom x25 um, there are some slight design changes which we'll go over so i'm just going to start on the on the outside and work my way on onto the inside and just kind of show you what you can carry in here and give you some use case scenarios so uh, just starting on the exterior of the bag uh, you'll see that you have this hidden channel of pals webbing so again you can do uh, a carabiner, a bike light, um, uh, our ferros markers, or anything like that that you want to attach to that to that webbing to give you some uh, visibility at night. Um, uh, moving down further on the front, you're going to see there's this inverted pocket here, just like on the X25. So you can open that up. You have a cavernous compartment. Um, so for me, I keep an equilibrium hoodie crammed up in there because it is winter now and the weather can change on us so a little bit of extra insulation but you can really uh, use it for just about anything if you're going to run to the gym after work or before work you can put your your gym clothes up there your dirty shoes or, or, or whatever the case may be and the use case there the design intent there is uh, we've all been there before where you cram everything in your backpack and you need your layers um, so you got to open your backpack you got to pull your laptop out or all this other equipment out to get to your jacket and it's kind of cumbersome well, we had the idea of having this inverted pocket so you could just easily keep it um, away from everything else. And so when you're out on the street, it's as easy as just, you know, slinging it from one shoulder to a, slinging it around, zipping it open, and then accessing whatever equipment or layers that you have in there like that. So it's pretty easy to use. Um, great, little, great little design feature to it. Working our way to the back of the bag, you're going to see that we have the same mesh and the, and the same uh, kind of airflow channels to, to keep with that high breathability. Uh, you're also going to notice these two zippered compartments here. That's a full pass through. You can see here. So, and it'll take up to a 13 inch laptop or, or tablet. You can also use your uh, documents or magazines or whatever you'd want to carry in there. The frame sheet is on this side, so whatever you do put in there is protected. Conversely, if you're traveling, you can also use this to slide down. If you're not using that compartment, you could use that to slide down on your luggage, like so. If a lot of you guys use roller bags, you can slide that so the handle comes out there. Going to the straps, same straps, low profile, um, light padding, adjustable sternum strap, adjustable load lifters. There are attachment points, uh, whatever attachment points you aren't using for the, uh, for the sternum strap, you can attach our S1 or S2 pouches, your Ferro's markers, things like that. Um, so if you just want some additional um, organization or accessories on those. Moving to the top of the bag have a very low profile carrying handle. It is reinforced with a little bit of padding there. And really we just wanted to keep it uh, really low profile so it's not snagging on things, especially for those, for those of you that do a lot of business travel and are sliding this under your, under your seat or moving in and out of airlines and crowds and things like that. We didn't want this big, um, big loop that can catch on things or get caught on things. So a uh, nice low profile carrying handle, reinforced hypalon across the top here. Accessories compartment that's perfect for sunglasses or your keys or headphones or things like that. Uh, some, some user feedback that we got from the X25 was they wanted that compartment to be a little bit bigger. So it is uh, slightly bigger so you can fit not just a pair of sunglasses but some additional accessories as well in there. Moving down to the front, we have the admin pocket. 
Now you're gonna notice some, some slight uh, differences between this and the Axiom X25, and we'll go over those now. Um, first one being, um, we now have a single horizontal zipper compartment here, still with mesh, uh, versus on the uh, X25, we used to have those two uh, vertical uh, pockets, one overt, one covert. Now we're just going to the standard single compartment, so this is a great place for uh, laptop charging cables, things like that. It, will billow out so the more you stuff it it will expand as you can see there you'll notice that the pocket does not fully clamshell open that's by design because we kind of wanted it to be a catch-all for stuff so i have a small little right in the rain notebook that i can easily just drop in there or slide in there conversely if you just want to throw your keys in there or your wallet or anything like that you don't have to worry about this pocket opening up or clamshelling open and things falling out so you kind of have a, a catch-all there so have some, uh, a, just a small notebook there. You can fit a tablet in there as well. Uh, and then you'll notice we have various different admin uh, pockets here. So I have uh, Apple charger there, Mophie backup battery. I have a charging cable for that backup battery as well as my camera. Um, have one of our lens lights, tie bolt pin. Um, and you can see I'm not even using all the compartments. You have, you have even more stuff here. Moving to the back, we have this, um, horizontal zipper that gives you access to a pretty cavernous back compartment here. On the Axiom, this used to be mesh. It is now just uh, just closed up like this, more, more covert. Uh, so in here I keep a spare square for charging, a couple field notes, and again you could fit a small tablet in there as well. There is a D-ring here, so if you want to attach your keys and have those uh, concealed down here on the inside, or if you want to have them hanging loose, and just zip that to the D-ring so you can still access them, you can do that as well. So that's the front compartment. We'll now move into the main compartment. It does fully clamshell open, as you can see here. Now I'm gonna kinda open this up. Um, so again, just to show you, magazine, I'm also doing a 15 inch power book just to show you that how that fits in there so that fits in there nice and easy like that move that out of the way so you're going to notice there's helix attachment points up here and helix attachment points down here uh, i'm currently running our new context organizer um, so that kind of acts as just a barrier when I'm running my 15 inch laptop in here. But you can run anything you'd like in here. You can run our control panels, our CP1, um, our, our various different um, transport cubes. If you're into photography, you could run different uh, transport cubes, one for your lenses, one for the, the camera housing, etc. So you can run um, multiple different uh, accessories here. Even our Molly stuff and our PALS webbing compatible stuff just run a control panel one here uh, with the PALS webbing facing out and then you can attach all the different uh, modular um, stuff to that. So just an example of what I'm doing is I'm just running it a control, or a, a, uh, our new context organizer there. You'll also notice up here at the top we have two webbing loops. So again, if you wanted to run a control panel but have it higher or start to stack and layer um, different uh, different accessories. So for example, I could run a, um, a transport case here if I wanted to give some extra protection for my laptop. And then I could run um, my context organizer on top of that by hooking them up here. Or I could run an admin panel one or, or whatever the case may be. So you have lots of different uh, options for, for mounting things inside. Or you can not mount anything and just run it as a, a, as a standard backpack. You'll notice that on the front here, you do have this gusset. That's for that front compartment so that you can really cram uh, a bunch of stuff uh, in, that, in that front inverted pocket that we talked about, this guy. So it kind of billows up there. So that's just a quick down and dirty of our Axiom 18.